Hey, what's going on, Virgos? Uh, Butch Tarot here. We're officially in 2021. Happy New Year's. I hope everybody has a great year. I feel like it's going to be a big year for a lot of people. Um, always looking at the, the positive side. I feel like a lot of good energy is coming in. With that being said, I'm going to do a one-week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. Um, always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. What do we have for Virgo? What's going on for Virgo? Yes. Three more shuffles for the go. All right, Virgo. So the first thing I see, Virgo. Now I feel like there's been some sleepless nights. I feel like there's some anxiety. I feel like you've been waiting for some communication. I feel like there's someone that you're dealing with. There's someone, you know, there's a sleepless nights with that nine of swords, that anxiety. There's someone that you're waiting for them to make a decision. You know, waiting for them to get their shit together. Waiting for them to see what's right in front of them. You know, I feel like you've been dealing with someone and I feel like you've been trying to get them to to open up. You've been trying to get them to communicate with you. This is someone that you have a very strong connection to. Now, I feel like you haven't been getting what you expected from this person. You know, I feel like there's a part of you that may think that this person doesn't even have that in them you know i feel like lately there's been a lot of a uh, emotional withdrawal not like i said not really fulfilling your needs but i feel like when it comes to them with that lover's card i feel like they feel it as well they already know what they want they already know what they want they don't have to make a decision. The only thing they're doing is I feel like they're finally taking that next step. You know, I feel like they've been hiding their feelings from you. That moon card, that Pisces energy. I feel like they've been hiding their feelings from you. Now, not only do I see that, you know, them hiding their feelings, but they have a lot of them. You know, I feel like they think about only you. You know, they just sit there and they're not thinking about anybody else. They're just thinking about that one. But like I said, I feel like you've been waiting for this person um, to open up. And I feel like that is what's coming. They can't hide their feelings from you anymore. You know, I do see that communication coming. Them letting you know what's been truly on their mind. And I do see an offer coming. Now, if this is someone you're already dealing with, this is more of a commitment. Or if somebody that you've been waiting to get in a commitment with, this is this is what's coming. Like, I, I feel like they're finally going to express how they truly feel. You know, I do see them taking that leap of faith. I feel like they have commitment issues. Or at least they just have... You know, let 
a pessimistic a pessimistic outlook on relationships and I feel like it was very hard for them to to commit but I feel like what they see in you they see someone very nurturing very caring someone that has their shit together you know I I feel like they've known for a while they want it more from you I feel like it took them a lot to come to terms with it, you know, finally putting themselves out there and, and letting themselves actually, you know, accept this connection. Like I said, I feel like they've known what they wanted for a while. I just feel like they've been taking a sweet ass time. You know, this is someone I feel like you guys are on the same page. You know, I feel like they, they want that foundation. They want to build that foundation with you. Now, I feel like it's been hard to read this person lately. You know, picking up on, on mixed signals, that sort of thing. That's what's causing that late night, that anxiety. Because this is something that you want. And there's nothing worse than wanting something and not getting anything in return. But like I said, I feel like that is about to change. I do see a lot of forward movement. But that cancer energy. Like I said, I feel like this leap of faith is coming. They're finally, you know, gaining that that confidence. Because they don't want to lose you. And I feel like they're... Like I said, I feel like they, they pick up on energy. They've been picking up on your energy lately. And I feel like this is what's really causing them to move forward. Because they're afraid they may lose you if they don't, you know, put up. You know, you need someone that's going to be there for you um, when you need them. Someone that's going to show up. And they're starting to get that. You know, and I feel like you will get what you want from this person. You know, with that Ten of Pentacles. I see a lot of good fortune coming. That Wheel of Fortune. Once we have two people that actually accept this connection which i feel like that's what we're happy that's what's what we have moving forward once they accept this connection then we can have two people working together on the common goal you know as of so far i feel like you you're the only one that's really been putting in the work and that's what's kind of got you that anxiety as well um not feeling fulfilled lately because this person hasn't been giving you what it is that you expected or what you expect from a person. Even though you knew and you felt that energy, you knew there was a strong connection here. You know, you feel very comfortable with this person. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot of emotional attachment and there's a lot of mental co compatibility. You know, this is, this is something really when we have a feeling when we're, when we're with someone or we, we're around someone and we have this energy and it feels like they're not accepting it or they feel like they're not, you know, um, seeing it through, it's almost like we feel like we're, we're doing all the work ourselves and it feels like we're in it on, on our own and that's not how any relationship should be. But like I said, secretly this person's been holding back a lot of their feelings for you. I mean, they truly have a lot of feelings for you. They truly have a lot of love for you. I mean, they already know what they want. You know, they think about only you. They've been hiding those, those feelings, but like I said, they can't hide their feelings anymore because they're afraid that if they don't come forward, that they could lose you. And they don't want to lose you. You're what they want. It's the commitment issues we keep coming back. I really, I, you know, I just feel like it's not that they have an issue with committing. They have an issue with trusting their own feelings. They have an issue with putting themselves out there. You know, to express your love for someone, even though they they know how you're going to take it, or they're pretty sure you, they know you're going to, you know, accept it, and that this is what you want. Even though that's the case, they're still having a hard time putting it out there. 
I don't feel like it's going to be a problem much longer. Like I said, we have that full card. You know, I see that communication coming, finally opening up, finally admitting their feelings. I feel like that's when we can take this to the next level. That's, that's when we can move forward with this. I start to, you know, once we know we're on the same page with someone, it's a lot easier to move forward. You know, that forward movement, building that foundation. You know, I feel like it's been frustrating lately for you. Like I said, not feeling fulfilled. Those sleepless nights. And that's the biggest part that is that I see here is it's frustrating when you know there's something real here and the other person hasn't admitted it yet. But they will. Now with this person, we have a lot of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have a lot of Earth, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. We have a lot of fire as well. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I mean, we have some Gemini and some Aquarius as well. You know, we have that Earth, but I mean, that could be on your half. Like I said, I feel like they've been holding back their feelings for way too long and they're finally ready to, to move forward. They're, re they're finally ready to step up. And once this person steps up, there's no stopping this. You know, so don't worry that it's going to sink back into this same, you know, once this person gives, once they're in, they're in. You know, some people just have a hard time putting themselves out there. It's like stage fright. Some people can, you know, can really sing or whatever. And they have a hard time doing it in public, even though they're really good at it. They have a hard time doing it in public until they do that. Once they do it the first time, then it gets easier. Um, I don't know why that was a metaphor that I decided to use, but <laughs> there it is. It's already out there. But like I said, it's it, it's one of those things that once once it starts coming out, once it, you know, once they get that you know, get comfortable with it. I feel like they're going to keep going. Um, once they give to a situation, they're in. And that's what I have for you. I hope it helps. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.